Hi, I'm going to give you a brief overview on chlorination. This is going to be an aromatic substitution reaction, and then I have a specific example to illustrate this talking about DDT. Okay, so you're going to have your aromatic. There's the benzene, and we add to it chlorine. There's your aryl halide. This has to be done in the presence of a metal, um, a metal catalyst. So we're going to use an iron three chloride for a metal catalyst, and it's going to produce this um, chlorobenzene with the hydrogen chloride. Uh, now this chlorobenzene, notice what happened. It's understood there's a hydrogen here, the hydrogen and the chlorine switch. So you have a chlorine now attached to that aromatic ring attached to the benzene, and the hydrogen is what's attached to the chlorine. So it's a hydrogen and a chlorine that are substituted, okay? The chlorine substitutes a hydrogen. A couple of notes. So chlorine substitutes for the hydrogen atom. Um, you have to run this in the presence of a metal catalyst. So if you're making little flashcards uh, for organic chemistry, you want to write down, you have to have that metal catalyst. Uh, and then I have an example for you. So chlorination of benzene is the first step in producing DDT. You've maybe heard of DDT. A little bit of backstory with it. It had a significant positive short-term effect. Uh, it does a great job of killing insects, which saved millions of lives by decreasing malaria and typhus. However, we discovered um, that there were long-term problems. It's soluble in organic media, which is code for tissue, um, human tissue, as well as animal tissue, fish and birds. Um, and it's been found in the fatty tissue of those um, humans, of humans and fish and birds, different animals. Uh, we've also discovered that it makes the shells of birds really, really soft so their offspring don't survive. Honest truth, we really don't know the full impact, the long-term effect of DDT, and so it's been banned. Really unfortunate for these negative side effects because it had such wonderful impact in saving millions of lives with malaria and typhus. Um, here's my challenge for you. Come up with something that would make this DDT uh, soluble in water so it can uh, dissolve in water rather than dissolving in tissues. Maybe then uh, we could do some tests and, and still keep it. Uh, so let me show you. We've got the chlorination of your benzene right here under the, in the presence of that metal catalyst, the iron three chloride. It makes the chlorobenzene. Uh, then uh, in the presence of two more chemicals, is going to form, is going to synthesize the DDT. And DDT stands for dichloral diphenyl trichloroethane. Uh, and here it is. So great job killing insects, but then it dissolves in living tissue, kind of those fatty acids. Uh, great overview, chlorination, aromatic substitution. Thank you, have a good day.